My name is Jessica Yu. I'm the director of Quiz Lady, the new comedy with Aquafina and Sandra Oh. Yes? Hi, I have some bad news. We lost your mom. What? Sorry, that was terrible phrasing. I meant we don't know where she is. Quiz Lady is about two estranged sisters who have to combine forces to help settle their mother's gambling debt. Oh, I think your sister's here. Annie, it's finally happened. Oh my God, it's okay, it's okay, I'm here. We're over, oh my God, you're orphan Annie. Oh She's not God. dead. She ran away. Bitch. You mentioned um, Aquafina and Sandra O oh, obviously a little bit earlier, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the casting process. Um, did you have these two in mind when you auditioned these roles, or what were you looking for? I was very lucky because I, uh, when I got the the script, Sandra O oh and Aquafina were already attached in the sister roles. So for me, it was just like this complete, beautiful little package. And when I first read the script, I could imagine them in those roles. So it was already kind of baked in there. I, I you know, if, if I had been given the choice and um, to, to cast those two, that probably would have been my ideal pairing. Come on, it's gonna be fun. I'm not sleeping on the floor. I'm not sleeping on the floor either. I sleep on the chair. I don't wanna sleep in a sitting position. Oh my God. Hold up. And I think something really fun for us as the audience was being able to watch both Sandra and Aquafina uh, take on these roles that are really different than maybe something that we've seen them in before. So as a director, what was it like for you to be able to guide them down these different paths? I think um, what was really great is being able to sit down at the table and share stories, talk about the characters, read the script together, really spend a lot of time, and also to get a sense of how far we wanted to go with these characters, how much we wanted to push things. For example, with Sandra, she really wanted to push this character, you know, to make her inappropriate, self-serving, and of course there's, uh, you know, layers of heart underneath that character, but she was just like, let's just you know we're we're not going to go in soft we're going to go in hard and um i think that that informed a lot of the humor i can't do this am i sweating yeah you know what put your arms down you're having a panic attack doctors prescribe these is that cocaine <laughs> oh stevia do you, do you ever use stevia the sweetener yeah yeah i've got it in my pocket and with Aquafina, I mean, that humor is always there, but it was more about what do we want to contain with this character and when do we want to see something, you know, explode. So it was nice to have that kind of opposite dynamic there and to try to uh, calibrate that um, throughout the arc of the um, entire film. What is the square root of 196? 14. Correct. How many hearts does an octopus have? Three. Correct. What? Saffron. Saturn. Aphrodite. Apollo. Aries. Carbon dioxide. The equal sign. Correct. Oh my god. What? You know this game. This is how you're gonna make the money. I think it was especially interesting to see Aquafina take on the role of this like really, really talented quiz lady. And so I think that Can't Stop the Quiz really harkens back to so many iconic game shows that we grew up watching, but it also manages to create something of its own. So when you're considering the sets, the costumes, even how you're having the actors deliver the lines in these scenes, how did you go about creating a game that felt really nostalgic and iconic while still being original? My production designer, Jeff Mann, we visited the, uh, the Price is Right and were able to go backstage and see all of the set pieces that they've had for over the years so that kind of like seeped us into the world of a show like the classic uh, American game show and the idea of it was we wanted it to feel kind of like Oz to um, to Anne like this is like the place of her comfort and her dreams so um, that was kind of the basis but yes we did want to make it different and part of what we wanted to do is make sure that there was some element that would pull Anne out of her comfort zone so there's a portion of the game where she can't just do it herself she's got to rely on somebody else and that um, is I think what makes the show a little bit unpredictable, a little different, and more visual than just answering questions. Win or lose, we'll do it together. That is definitely broken. I bet you I could pop it back in myself. I no, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to throw up. Okay. When I got on board, I was thinking, this is a movie I want to watch right now. There's something, it's very, very funny, but there's also something that you can relate to in kind of a comforting, we're all kind of screwed up way. <laughs> so if, you, if, that's, if you're in the mood for that, I, I think uh, you won't be disappointed. I'm taking you to the quiz! Look out! <gasps> Learn how to drive!
Racist! Oh, 